Hello lovelies and welcome to Mama G gear. It's Mama G here and yes I'm sort of wearing glo rubber gloves, speak much, and it's a beautiful sunny sort of day or sort of sunny day and I said well it's a perfect day to be putting wet hanks of yarn out on the back porch to dry so let's experiment. Okay, so I did in the last video ask when I was doing the um, unboxing of the yarn. Hope you could see this. Yeah. Okay. Um, I asked for some suggestions for uh, colors to do the yarn. And thank you very much. Uh, many of you had uh, recommended colors that I would never have thought of. So I really, truly appreciate that. And I will be doing more. But today I'm only going to do four skeins. Um, I'm going to do... I'm doing two... Can you see here? I'm doing two skeins of the latte, which is a 100% baby alpaca, and it's 291 yards each. It's a three ply sport weight. So I have two of those. And if you all could remind me, because I will forget, because I already almost kind of did, is I'm doing two skeins of the Asperitas. Asperitas? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but hopefully you could see here. Uh, this is 50% recycled wool, 50% tensile, 383 yards, 4-ply fingering sock weight. What I did do, and I'm documenting because I will forget, is I, on these two skeins, I put those zip ties just so I can remember that it's these two. So you remind me that at the end of this video because I will forget. All right, so those are the four skeins we're going to four hanks that we're going to dye today. But I am going to dye them the same colorway because overwhelmingly um, y'all have said peacock colors, blues, purples. All right, so yeah, let's do that. Let's attempt that. Anyway, I don't have any white vinegar and uh, so I only put citrus, citric, I have a hard time with that one. I'll just write what I'm trying to say down <laughs> at this point. Citric acid and I've chosen out of the colors that I have a violet, a lilac, a turquoise, and a brilliant blue in the bottles. And then in the squirt bottle, uh, I think it was Dory did it and someone else had recommended, or maybe a couple of you have another great idea. Thank you guys so much for your input. Because I'd really, truly appreciate input and Chris, what is it called again? I'm really having a hard time with my words today, so bear with me. Um, constructive criticism. So in this one, in the squirt bottle, I put emerald green. I did put the acid and the dye, and I'm wearing gloves because I'm going on an outing tomorrow. I'm actually leaving the cave, or cage, I should say, <laughs> uh, tomorrow to bring Apollo to the vet, and I will stop off at the post office, drop you all that stuff, people that I owe stuff to, and so I don't want to have blue fingernails while I'm out. Okay, let's get to it. I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to add water to our dyes. I do have the hanks already in here. These two are the latte. These two are the aspiratus. I know I'm saying that hesitantly because I have no idea if I'm saying it correctly. And I'll add some water and then we'll get back. I haven't put uh, any, these are dry hanks and I'm forgetting already the last time we did it, I think we started with dry hanks. So let's try that again. All right. Like I said, this is all experimental, folks. Just come along for the ride. Put on your seatbelt. I do have some water boiling that has some uh, citric acid in it. And my coffee is way over to the other side. And you are balancing on a Sarah McLaughlin uh, CD. Um, yeah, I, I have CDs because I'm old. I probably have eight tracks around here. Remember those? Oh my God. Anyway, I'm going to put you on hold or pause and fill these with water, give them a shake, and I'll be right back. So hold on. All right, that was quick for you guys. And it was quick for me as well, to be honest. All right, so I don't know now if I had told you what colors. Um, we're going to do the violet, and I put a V on top so I can remember. Lilac. I'm going to see with the main camera. Lilac. Let me show you the violet again. Of course, this is very uh, concentrated. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. I haven't gotten dressed yet. 
I'm, you know, I'm going to be playing around here with the dye while I get dressed. And when I'm done here, I'll take my shower and get myself ready. Uh, turquoise, I'm showing you and not saying the names. God, I'm a mess. All right, so we got violet lilac, turquoise, brilliant blue, and in the squirt bottle is emerald green, which I'm kind of thinking what we'll do. And I, I have, no, again, you guys know at this point, I really have no idea what I'm doing. So kids, don't try this at home without adult supervision. And I'm thinking to put these colors and then squirt the emerald green on it at the end. And I'm hoping that that will show up. Well, we'll see. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I didn't put this in hot water. I just put them, I just used tap water because again, I just winging it. All right. Let's put those colors up there. The, yeah, the markers are on top because I would forget, I would forget even with just four things I would forget. So let's see, what should we do? I really have no idea. Um, I've got these little things. I've got that water uh, sort of getting ready to boil and four dry hanks. So let's slide these over. And I got my trusty little crocheted. I gotta wipe up my mess rag that I make. And I'm going to move the colors that I'm, oh, did we put, yeah, we have purple, Never mind. Uh, oh, let's put these out of the way. And here's our dyes. And I'm trying to think now between the violet and the lilac, I'm gonna switch them. I'm going to put the violet there and I'm switching the bottles and the lilac at the end only because the violet has a little more of a blue hue in it and I'd like that to go next to the turquoise. Yeah, like I'm acting like I know, but it, no, it, to me that makes more sense. I don't like things that don't make sense. All right? I've always been a curious kid and if things don't make sense to me, it, it, it bothers me. The mind is a terrible thing. Okay, I'm going to slide you forward. Hold on. Hold on to your seats. Oh, my goodness. You almost went flying there. All right. So I'm hoping that that's a decent view. And I know you're kind of sideways on here, but this is the best I can do. And just deal with it. All right. So we scrunch these little babies up. Um, I think what we did last time, and it seemed to be all righty is maybe just drop them in here dry and then add water. And I'm going to turn this off because it looks like it's going to boil. And then the, the squirty stuff we'll put aside because we'll do that later. And we'll start maybe, let's start blue top and work our way down. All right, I did shake them, but I'm going to, you really want to make sure that stuff is shook up. And Thris, I love you. She, absolutely, I'm going to do a quick shout out. Like you all know her for sure. But Thris at Thris and Stitches, Full Spectrum is her yarn company, does this professionally. I don't. But she did tell me the ratio that I'm supposed to be using. But Thris, it's a math thing. So I just threw it in there. I have no idea. There is no rhyme or reason. So I will at some point maybe, probably not, uh, decide to really pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, want to do this? Let's just pour. I'm not wearing a mask, but I do have this in a liquid form. So unless I'm going to drink it, I should be all right. I hope you're able to see what we're doing here. And since I'm using four colors, I'm going to break this up in sections of a fourth, a fourth, a fourth, a fourth. A fourth is, of course, a fourth, a fourth. All right, this is weird. What's happening? I'm going to just go with it. Uh, it's kind of looking tie-dyed at this point. I'm leaving some of it in here so I could get the other side. Oh, I didn't shake. And I shook them already, but I want to do another shake on them. All right, now we're going to do some turquoise. And this is going to be so curious because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> ah. You know, it is really fun sometimes just to not care, I guess is the word. Um, it doesn't look like it's really absorbing into the yarn because the yarn is dry, but we'll make it wet. It, this might just all mush into one color. I don't know. But like I said, the other ones came out all right. So let's see. And of course, these will, um, if they come out nice, by the way, they will be up for our auction. Just a reminder, because I'll probably drop this. Yeah, I'll probably drop this before the auction. But 
Uh, we have our auction on May 20th, which is my mother's earthly birthday. And uh, that's why I'm dyeing some yarn to auction it, auction it off to raise some money for our mental health and meows. And for those few of you who don't know what the mental health and meows is, it's really just a few, my daughter, I started this numerous years ago, didn't have a name. Once we got a channel, we gave it a name, but it's really a charity that uh, we've always done where we just help animals out uh, with, with whatever they need and people out with whatever they need. But the connection between having a fur baby in your life or even a reptile baby in your life, whatever it may be, um, especially if you have bouts of depression and things like that, it gives you a reason to get up in the morning. And I have had that be my reason to have to get out of bed in the morning myself personally. And in my family, oh, sticky, sticky. In my family, um, mental health issues have been prominent, you know, as is in many. And that is why I went to college for psychiatric psychology, counseling, and so forth. That's what my degree is in, but I, I worked in the field for a little bit and it was, I can't, I, you know, I'm the kind of person who brings home dead animals to try to bring them back to life. You can imagine what I'm like with people. So, but we do, we will help out people. Look at how not, I'm going to interrupt myself. And can you see how the, I'm going to have, I'm going to struggle every time. Asperitis, the Asperitis is sucking up the dye, whereas the latte is not. And the latte was, let's see what that was again. Oh, that's 100% alpaca. I would have thought that would have sucked this up. I feel like I'm making spaghetti, especially with the, <laughs> it looks like spaghetti and I'm using spaghetti tongs, which by the way, I say every time and I will repeat, do not ever use anything that you use if you're going to be doing dyes. Don't ever use any of these products for food afterwards. These are designated for what I'm doing because you would probably get sick and just a heads up on that one. All right, so let's, it looks like, yeah, that's really not absorbing this one. So anyway, that's what mental health meows is. I, I kind of interrupted myself. What else is new? I, I'm really digging how beautiful the um, aspiratus is uh, coming out and sucking up the juice. Well, it's not really juice, but the dye. I'm not worried about the fact I'm kind of purposefully doing a little of the extra um, section that's going to be turquoise because turquoise is the closest to uh, the peacocky colors. Did I really say that? Did I actually say peacocky? I did. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Yes. All right. So I'm just going to, there we go. And I could add a little water, you know, in here really want this to be prominent and I will flip these little babies over in a sec once I finish putting the what, I, what am I doing here oh here's brilliant blue god I get lost in a paper bag I swear I, I hide in my I hid my own Easter eggs this Easter I'm joking I really didn't I didn't I mean I, I could but I didn't have any Easter eggs all right, so we're just gonna I'm really dig in how well that is. Look at the difference. This is why this is where the the science and, and knowledge comes in when with people like Thris and Melissa from uh, Crochet in Agreement. Do excellent. check her out, please. Crochet in Agreement. She also um, is a professional yarn dyer and does beautiful work. I'll tag both of those lovely ladies in the uh, description box. Oh my, and I don't, you probably can't see the mess I'm making here, but it's whatever. Houses were meant, meant to be messy. Not really, but that's, like I don't wash my windows, and you know, I, I do, I actually do wash my windows. I do say a lot of things that I'm really joking about, so I hope you guys know that. Um, I'm a sarcastic person. 
but I, I tell people I don't wash my windows because I'm protecting the birds from jumping and flying into them, which, by the way, my sister um, contacted me with some email or videos the other day, yesterday or the day before, um, with a bird that was like slamming himself into her window and she was putting out all kinds of like red uh, she has a uh, streamer things and she was putting red streamers and tying them up on the window and taping them to the window and putting them all along the side and he was still he was head banging himself into that like a crazy bird I, I'm assuming that it's you know it is spring so it's mating season so my assumption is that he saw his reflection, thought that he was another male bird and was fighting him for the privilege of mating with the local ladies. That's what I think anyway. I probably am completely wrong, but as long as there's some kind of a answer that makes somewhat sense in my brain, I can go forward. Totally digging this. I feel like these, the latte, are going to be really, really wet on the other side and speckly on this side but these I almost don't even want to put water in them though this is probably the same thing it's probably solid on the other side yeah all right let's flip them over and see what happens before we add water because I may or may not add water you know we don't know we never know what we're doing here in crazy kitchen land oh my all right oh holy lowly Holy moly, rock and rolly. All right, so this didn't work out anywhere near as nice as I would have liked it to. Because I have a little bit of that stuff left. Okay. And for the next. Whoa, that's drenched. That one is definitely drenched on the other side. I am out of the first which the first top color which is brilliant blue, but I could make more. I'm trying. Wow, look at how that that was the corner piece, so it just like really sucked up all the the colors. But I do have a little bit too a little bit more of these purples. So, let me slide those over. Oh, that's right. We got the green still to sprinkle on. That'll be fun. All right, now I don't have... Okay, so this is one hang here. Oh, let's drop that and grab it a little bit different. Right, this is going to be a hot mess. That's a mess. All right. All right we're doing it. That Hank got a little bit messed up, so yeah, it's actually a lot easier to do it with my hands. And I am wearing gloves, so we're just gonna do it with the do it with the hands. You know, I'm gonna slide this one over because the, the die is really on the edge. This might be this dish might have like kind of a bow to it. So, I'll slide that over and I'm trying. All right. Hope you're enjoying your little visit here with me. I'm enjoying you being here. And I don't care, this does not, this is not being used for anything other than wiping as much of the blue, the colors off of the, <laughs> my counter's got stains, but that's all right. Um, yeah, it's only used for this, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, so let's just sprinkle some purples. I may have to make more blue, which is not a problem. And that. And I was clever, because I could rinse these out after I use them and it takes the, the dye out of it. So the um, the letter I put in an erasable marker so that I can hopefully wash that off for the next time. And I have these little containers in the order of the colors, so. All 
All right, should I put you on hold and then make a little more of the blue? Because that definitely wasn't enough there. I feel like that. Got a mess here, folks. All right, I'm going to put you on hold and make more of the blues. And I'll be right back. And I'm back. And I actually made more of the purple as well because I noticed this is bad. I will say out of the four colors that we're using, the turquoise is a pain in the beat because it just flew all over the place and is messing, oh my, messing up the counter. I didn't put citric acid in this, this one here. I just put just the, the dye and some water. I think I have enough in the other stuff to kind of make up for it. And here is the paint in the butt, the turquoise. Let's see how this is in here. That's got quite a bit. I did, did I shake it? I can't remember. Shake, shake, shake. I'm not going to sing the song. I really want to get it on the baby alpaca because... I got a little extra. Yeah, this is, this turquoise, I don't know, maybe there's a hole in the bottle. No, it's not a hole in the bottle, but I don't know, for some reason, it, when I shake it, it goes all over the place. Look, it's all on the top of that one. The violet. Whoa, that was a lot. a little in here oh yeah brains o'hara over here decided to wipe it with my hand turning so we got oh boy we got some on the counter there's all kinds of specks of peacock colors on our counter here but that's all right luckily um not luckily that sounds very mean but my the man that lives here he um had lasik surgery on one eye but really can't afford to get the surgery on the other eye so he's basically blind in one eye and um, for my benefit how it benefits me is that he doesn't see like the the dog hair on the stairs or whatever so yeah see what a selfish person I am almost said a bad word all right so anyway let's let's dip this in yeah, I'm not really the baby alpaca. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's not me, um, or, or it is me, that I'm obviously not doing what I'm supposed to be doing to have this baby alpaca. This probably should have been wet and um, drained out before I put dye for it to absorb because it's not really absorbing like I would like it to. However, the Asperidius is doing pretty good, but I'm not liking the fact that this Hank has absorbed a lot more than the other, so I'm literally gonna put them together and, oh, and squeeze. Because I want that dye to get through to both hanks, and I'm gonna do the same on going on up. So I want at least some variation of the color to be on all of the yarn. And we'll go up here. Wow, look at how nice that's working out. And I'm, I'm assuming, of course, everything I do is assum assumptions, but I'm assuming because some of it has really stuck in there that the ones that are, that are getting the dye on it now that are, are um, that were bare is, it'll be a lighter shade of it. So that would be my hopes as far as what I'm doing here. That would be nice if that happened. So let's squeeze those babies. All right, so I'm going to just check real quick and make sure that's saturated. I don't see any naked yarn. Yeah, somebody would, because I call it naked yarn, because it's bare yarn, so play on words as usual. And um, someone said, you know, made a comment about the naked yarn, and I was like, oh, uh, you know, I probably should consider crocheting little sweaters for all the hanks so they wouldn't be naked. And then I, in my head, I had a, visualization of how cute that would be. 
But if you, you know, if I could give tour tickets that you could visit my brain and hang out there for a while, I'd have a line out the door because it's a fun place. All right. So now can you see, I hope that these two are completely saturated. So I'm good as gold on these guys. All right. These guys, eh, not so much, right? So let's try the same thing. Or to kind of squish it and see if it'll suck up the dye. Because the underneath here is pretty white, you know. And if it, if this skein has some white in it, I'm okay with that, right? We don't care. We're just having fun. It's actually looking pretty. But of course, once you rinse it out, you, you know, it looks nice all wet, and then you rinse it out and you. Don't have that's what happened to me with the cotton I dyed for uh, Mampha's makes Samantha back I guess last summer I had dyed a couple hanks for her and some for her for Mike and I, I think I, I whatever yarn I used I can't remember the, the type of yarn but they looked so pretty with the dye on them and then as I rinsed it it just kept coming out so whatever I did wrong the dye just you know, so that their, their hanks actually ended up being very more pastel of the shades that I was trying to do. But that's still all right. It's a it's a thought that counts, right? And that's I was trying to do something nice. All right, I hope you could see this. That actually, I'm I'm all right with that. I'm not mad at that. All right, let's see. I might not even add water into this pot. What do you think, folks? I wish you really could. I wish I was like on a phone conference with you people because I would love your input as I go. Now we still have the emerald green speckle. All right, I think I did all right with that, right? What do you think? Do you see? Oh, oh some of it's hiding. so similar to cooking, you know, kneading, like I used to make uh, Italian breads and literally used to make the dough and have to, you know, have it uh, with the yeast to have it rise and I would put it out on the, on the stove with the stove on the low, you know, the oven would be on low and have it sitting on the stove top so it had some of the heat, cover it with the wet towel, as any of you that make Italian breads would know. And then set my alarm in the middle of the night, get up, knead it, do it, <laughs> put it back again. Those days are over, baby. It's like the, the, the man that lives here now. I'm like, dude, I, you know, 18 years of living with an Italian. Um, I'm not knocking Italians. My kids are Italian. Um, was, uh, you know, making sauce from tomatoes and homemade breads and all that kind of stuff. Now, psh, you're lucky if I make you macaroni and cheese. Yeah, only on a good day. All right, so can you see that? I'm gonna rinse my hands, I'll be right back. I couldn't turn this on pause because you need a bare finger to do it and I didn't, my hands were such a mess. All right, so what do you think? What do we do here now? I do have a little bit of the dyes left, but I don't think I need them. And should we sprinkle some green on here? What do you think? Let's shake it up. It's been a bit. And since I squished it so much, I probably could just like flip it over like a pancake. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. Oh, can you see that? What's happening? Cool. All right, this is good. This is good. Cool idea. It gives it kind of like a green hue. I hope you could see that. You'll probably be able to see it better on this one. Let's just move it this way. Watch, watch this transform. I'm digging it. That's cool. Wow, it like changes the whole hank. Yeah, all right, let's flip her. 
That's cool. Oh, it looks really good on this other side. slide those over a little give myself a little room on the I can actually I kind of like doing the two and two I think um, I did a couple that were three all by itself but I like this two and two idea because it I can manipulate the hanks better than having like five in here or something so and, and these I did two of each of these because the of the yardage so if you wanted to make socks there's definitely enough enough yardage in here to make socks but oh, we're not doing that we're doing this one okay let's hope you can see this so cool wow dory and whoever else had recommended the squirt bottle thank you oh my gosh i'm gonna go around the house and squirt the walls that'll be a cool look I did that to my cabinets, my kitchen cabinets. They're, they're original cabinets, so they're this house as well. They're not original because this house is like a hundred and was a hundred and fifty years old when we bought it, uninhabitable, and um, we didn't have the money to do a new kitchen because we had to do the whole house. Uh, so I just did like faux painting on the cabinets, so they're like painted blue and then specks of different colors and whatnot. And that's what this looks reminds me of is what I did on the cabinets. Yeah, I'm totally digging this. Hope you guys are enjoying this. What other little stories can I tell you? Yeah, this is cool. All right, Thris, call me real quick and tell me, do I have to let this sit in heat or will it take with just the cold water? That's the conundrum. Is that the word conundrum? Am I saying that properly? question mark um, oh, I wish that this I, I hope that this just sitting without heat what do you think should I put the heat let's put the heat on because I just feel like I'm gonna rinse this out and all those colors are going to disappear all right so we're gonna go large low and top low so we're gonna put those on low and that means I have to add water or do I? Hmm. I know. Come on, guys. Text me with this information. <laughs> oh, man. I wish you guys were, could tell me as I'm going here because I'm really confused. And all these, like, little furs, I'm like, oh, my gosh, how'd this get, you know, hat, cat, or hair, dog hair on it already? But it's, it's from the fact that it's alpaca. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I hope these come out as pretty as they appear to be able to come out like it looks like it's going to look real pretty but i've been disappointed before so and that's all right too i mean whatever it is it is right all right well i got the heater heat on so i won't bore you bore you any longer here because we're already half an hour in on well it takes time dude so that's the thing so i'm hoping that uh my jibber jabber is somewhat entertaining i think i might throw a little bit of water just a tiny little bit um i just don't want to burn the ends or burn that burn the hanks and this is really hot water oh wow yeah see i'm putting water on it and i don't know if you could tell where it's hitting the the dye is going away see see how that dye went away on that mm, that's what i was afraid of so if i were to have rinsed this right now we'd go back and i've done that i've actually dyed oh full hanks of yarn and then washed them and all the dye came off. I am totally pouring this all over my foot. It's hot. And we do have some more dye, so um, I could add a little more because this is just plain water, but just want to have something on the bottom so that it doesn't. Yeah, definitely, definitely took the green off. Well, at least we have a um, record of the fact that it did look pretty <laughs> at one point. <laughs> Maybe not so much when it's all rinsed out. But see, yeah, I got some water in here. So what do you think? Should we add what dye is left on top? 
Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're back to the blue. Since we just add plain water, let's put some more dye in there. I don't think this one needs so much, but that. Maybe alpaca does. Eh, eh. Matricase. It's amazing. Like, I'm opening the other containers, and it's not dripping all over the place like the turquoise is. And I tell you the truth, I think the turquoise did that to me before. So I think it's actual the, the dye, for some reason, knows how to escape. All right, I'm not, I'm not worried too much about the other hanks, because those seem to have, well, let's just put it on there. Those seem to have sucked it up pretty good. Suck it up, buttercup. And the last color is the lilac. Again, we're using lilac, violet, turquoise, and brilliant blue. And then emerald green as the spray bottle. And we're gonna let this sit. I'm going to put you on hold because I'm sure you don't want to sit. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, I will be back. We'll see what happens. I'm going to let this cook a little bit. All righty. Hold on. Or I'll be right back. All righty. So just a little update. Um, I've been letting them cook. Uh, the house smells not as bad as it did last time. Last time I did that other day, the other Hanks, it did. It smelled like a whole herd of cattle and a herd of sheep working, walking around my house. But I did. I did flip them over. I'm a little concerned that, um, as I did add some more water while you're away, and um, I flipped them over like this, and I, I'm a little concerned that all the color dyes have meshed together to one color, so I don't know how much of a variation of color or whatever you, whatever that word that you guys use. Um, is going to be on on this i hope you could see here i don't want it it's hot um over here it looks like i'm i, I do see a distinct brilliant blue um and a, a different you know turquoisey and purples down here so i think that the i have to look here again it's the 100 percent alpaca baby alpaca i believe that that's going to show the the different colors bleeding into one another the other 50 tensile, 50 um, wool, this, when I flipped it over, I was like, oh man, that's all looking like it's the same color. So, and like this skein, I mean this hank and this hank, this, well that might just be the green spray, spritzy stuff. And I'll do some green spritzy, but when I add the water or I touch it, the green just goes away. It doesn't, it's not staying on here like it looks when I'm squirting it so I don't know if this is actually doing anything or just or just the green is you know blending in with whatever color else is in the water but it's still fun to do and I will say this I mean I enjoy what I'm doing and I've had some hangs come out pretty nice if uh, you know if, you know it's not a I did spend a lot of money on some yarn you know bare yarn, naked yarns but um, if I find that I start getting frustrated with the process or bored. I will just donate those bare yarns to my yarn dyer friends because, you know, I don't want them hanging around here. I got too much stuff and I've got to wean down. In fact, as many of you know, if not most that are watching, if you're still here, Thank you for being here. If you are, by the way, um, I got the. I'm going to be fostering babies again, baby kittens this this uh, summer again, and um, ah, I'm attached. Look at that. It's like magic. Uh, I will be fostering newborn orphaned kittens again this year, and I can't take the feral moms with their litters, and I can only take. I feel like I'm only. Uh, going to be able to take a minute a maximum of three kittens at a time um 
because the room that I had designated for my kitten fostering for all those years, it, it's, it's a, like a 14 by 16 room that was empty that I had crates and toys and climbing things and little beds and that was primarily the room I used when I fostered like a feral mom with a litter of kittens instead of them being in the shelter in a little tiny box this way they could you know walk around I was able to socialize the the kitten so that they weren't you know feral and oftentimes was able to get the mom to trust me I mean my gosh you're talking a feral cat a feral mother with baby kittens and you're approaching them so um, I did uh, yeah I had some scars but I did I was able to um, you know make the allow the mother to trust humans a little bit more than she did prior to her coming here so but anyway that room that I have used for all those years for my kittens and cats um, is now covered and filled with yarn and, and craft supplies so I don't have the extra room plus Tony moved in as you know and I gave him the master bedroom with the uh, attached um, master bath so I of course I'd rather have him here than you know accommodating kittens because I can accommodate a little kitten excuse excuse that scrub uh, dunk Duncan Stop, please. Um, it's probably a leaf blown by. But anyway, so um, that's why I, I, I'm just babbling here. I apologize, but I'm just, that's why I'm only going to probably take, you know, from one to three kittens at a time. I prefer to get at least two kittens, even if they're not the same litter. Often they're not because oftentimes people will just find an abandoned or left orphan kitten, one, uh, you know, on the side of the road or wherever, um, oftentimes the mother, if it is a sickly cat, kitten, baby, and the mother has the other babies, she will move her litter. And they do. They often move their litters. And, of course, they could take one baby at a time. So one of two things happens when you see an abandoned kitten. One is the mother might be moving the litter. So if you see one, it's either the first one she's bringing to the new place and she went to go get the other ones, or it's the last one being picked up to be moved to the new place and she's coming back to get that one. Well, that's, so it's three things, but really two, that's one situation. Or it is a cat, a kitten that the mom has abandoned because it has a sickness or is ill and is going to die and the mother will move her babies to protect her other babies from that it's a survival of the fittest and so I do sometimes get perfectly healthy kittens because of people grabbing them because they don't realize that the mom's moving the litter or I have often gotten um, newborn kittens that were and I know I've mentioned this before but literally with their little toenails right at the edge of the rainbow bridge um, and not all of them had made it, but at least their last moments and days. And I had one that was uh, probably, I don't know how many I had her for over a, uh, a month. And she kept losing hair and all this. And uh, whatever deformation she had that eventually took her life, even though she did survive for, for several weeks, um, was some kind of genetic problem. So I'm standing over this inhaling the, that's probably not a good idea. My lungs are bad enough. But anyway, um, so anyway, yeah, so not all the kittens have survived, but at least their end days were here. Um, they, I, I hold them. In, you know, uh, you can kind of tell when a cat's ready to go if you have not experienced that. And um, I will just hold them. There was one that I held for over eight hours, just kept holding them the whole time and waiting, and they finally crossed over the Rainbow Bridge. So... At least their last moments here were, were comforted and uh, with love and not just you know, alone in a gutter somewhere on the street. So, But in the same token, there's several that, like Moo Radley, the one that I have here that is the black and white cat, um, he was at death's door when I got him, completely emaciated and all that. And uh, with 
you know, nurturing and whatever, um, he's still here, man. And he's, he's got to be at least eight. I don't remember ages of my animals. It's too many coming and going to, to keep track, but he's at least eight years old. He has a chronic upper respiratory problem, yes. We just, you know, do what we can for that. And, uh, yeah, he almost died twice. So, so there, yeah, so more more have survived than haven't. So that that's a good thing. So I'm, I'm excited, by the way. I know I keep talking about it, but I'm excited, you know. And um, it's been, like, three years since I've uh, fostered newborn orphans. Of course, we did rescue or didn't necessarily rescue but we did Freya unfortunately the one that had that brain aneurysm I'm still devastated by that I mean I, I still literally forget sometimes that I'm coming down the stairs and I'm waiting for her to run down the stairs in front of me and jump on the counter for her breakfast um, and it, it does break my heart but um, yes yeah, she we found her and I still in the f three four years that I stopped fostering through the ASPCA in the local shelters, I did still get strays that people would call me and, hey, we found these kittens, whatever, can you take them? And of course, yes, I will. So that's where the, the funds go for the mental health and meows. Part of the funds go for that because when I foster, even though I foster through SPCA, um, and they will pay for the food and the, the formula and anything you need they 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 will provide that because they're just so happy that you are taking the time to foster and socialize uh and take care of the kittens which i highly recommend folks um and they will pay for everything so it's really your time so if you're just sitting home nothing like crocheting with a little newborn kitten sitting next to you okay um but i one of the things that i do is i don't accept anything from them you know i i I will pay for all that I need um, for their care for the time that I have them um, out of my pocket. And this way that money, you know, stays for the, somebody else who's fostering. So, but anyway, yeah, um, we're going to let this boil a little bit. I, I did notice, let's back to the yarn. Thank you. I, I'm sorry that I, I'm, I know I'm not sorry that I'm babbling because if you don't like it, you just turn me off. I'm not, I'm never insulted. It looks like the water is getting a little lighter. I do still see the turquoise. I'm going to tell you right now, girlfriends, all right, uh, turquoise, yeah, this color is a pain. I thought red was a pain. Turquoise, I have turquoise in my, everywhere, All with all these colors, there's five colors. Predominantly, the turquoise is making the biggest mess, and I do make a mess, but I'm going to say, you know, there's still a lot of dye, but I, of course, added way more dye than I needed. So my, what I might do now is put you back on hold, let this boil a little bit uh, more, longer, and, oh, excuse me, and then take these out and start rinsing them, but leaving whatever dye is left. And then maybe we'll get another hank and just throw it in there and see what happens, right? We have nothing, we'll get two hanks. And we'll throw it in there and see what happens and sop up the rest of the dye. And it might be pretty, you never know. All right, I'm gonna put you on hold again. I gotta take my thumb out. Yeah, the phone don't does doesn't like rubber doesn't follow the rubber glove uh, thing. It just wants your actual fingerprints. I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, I know this is a super long video, so um, but it, it takes a long time to do this. All right, so what I did was I took the hanks out, washed them, and they are sitting on the other counter. Um, yeah, we'll get to those. I'll talk about them when I get there. One I'm not happy with. But anyway, I have two hanks here of Bristol or Bristle. I don't know. I'm calling it Bristol, but it might be Bristle. And this is 70% fine organic merino wool, G-O-T-S, and does not mean goats on t tour somewhere. Okay. And they, a couple people told me what it meant. Thank you for that. And it also 30% hemp. So I'm not sure how that's going to work with this. The water has is still hot. These are a two-ply sport weight. There's 328 yards in each. What I did with these two is um, I soaked them and squished all the air out and then drained them 
you know, squeeze the water out so it'll absorb with a water mixture of, well, a mixture of water and citrus acid. So we got all this dye. Let's try to soak this up. Okay, now I'm not going to pour, just pour these colors in um, because I, we'll see. I, I'm just trying something new. And let's just dunk these babies in. And see how the water all, of course, just became, that's, I'm telling you, this turquoise, man, the turquoise is something else. All right, so we're just going to soak them in the turquoise. Suck it up. And see how it grabbed that color right away? Because they were wet. Oh, see, now if it did this, it'd be beautiful, like tie-dyed. And this water is hot, yes, and I don't have my industrial gloves on. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay. Um, that's really kind of cool, right? See, if it would look like this, it'd be happy. But... Now that we've got them kind of sitting in here, soaking up the dye that's in here, let's pour the other dyes in, right? Let's start with the blue, brilliant blue on top. Sprinkle it around. Da, 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 da. It is like cooking, just so you don't get to eat anything afterwards. But you do get to play with yarn, which I'd rather do. All right, so we're just sprinkling the brilliant blue I don't have much of the purple, so we're gonna do more of the blue. And that bottle is done. Now for the pain in the butt teal. Oh, I just realized I got lots of green, shoot. So now we'll throw the teal in the middle. Well, I hardly have any, well, I could put the green on the bottom. All right, cool. All right, so that's the teal. I'm glad to see that go because that one gave me a pain in my honey. And then we'll put a little bit of the purple here because I don't have much. And I'm going to blend that up into the teal because I did use a, lot, a large section for the teal. And then on the very bottom, I could really just pour this, but I am having fun squirting it. So let's squirt the green. And I am soaking it. So I want that to go through to the undercoat, which is which is teal color. All right, let's, I'm gonna lift it up and just squirt underneath there, on the side. So I really want this to be green, so. I didn't think about when I'm doing this that you, I walk away and I, I feel like you could hear me regardless of where I go, but I guess that's not the case. So as I walk away from the camera, I probably should speak up. I know the volume will be all over the place on this. All right, so I kind of really tried to saturate any of the green on the end. I think that one has more green, so let's put a little more on this side. All right, so we got a lot of green over there, and let's just squirt some green in here. It might absorb on those areas that don't have a color. We don't know. We just have this stuff. We got to get rid of it. So let's uh, let's do it. I just realized I'm spraying this stuff, and I'm like right over it with steam. So later on today, when I can't breathe, I'll remind me this is why. All right, so let's see what happens with this. I want, I don't want bare yarn, but I do want variations of the colors, shades of the colors. Yeah, so I think I might have to, uh, I'm not making any promises, but because it, I just haven't had the mojo to paint, and that's why I bought those little do those little tree houses for the birds. I thought that would inspire me. It hasn't yet, but hopefully it still will. Um, but I'm going to try to do some paintings for the auction so that you could bid on those as well. Oh, again? Did I not learn the first time? Apparently not. Let's pour some more of the green in here.
Yeah, this is, I thought this was a, um, it looks, it says it's what kind of weight? Wait a minute here. It says it's a sport weight, but I'll tell you, this looks thicker than a sport weight. I, I'm, get, I'm venturing to guess. To me, however, for whatever that is worth, it looks more like a three weight. Or maybe sport weight is three weight. Perhaps that could be the case. All right, I'm really saturating this side of it with the green, and I know the other side's gonna be very dark with the teal, but in this, see how it's really tealy on the bottom on the other side? And I'll flip it over, but I really hope that the green will, will suck in on this side. Um, Cause even though this is the top and the bottom when you're crocheting and it could be all over the place. So it might, um, might look cool. Oh, I saw, saw light stuff. Yeah, we'll let this soak for a little bit. All right. So the other guy, Oh, I spilt it all over my counter. Oh my, I made a mess. Um, all right, so I'm going to put you back on pause because I know this is very long. I really appreciate all y'all that are hanging out and staying here and watching the process. Uh, it does mean a lot to me. Um, and I just want to thank you for that. I'm going to, I'll be right back. Back again. All right, so I rinsed out the that third pair of Hanks. Um, I've got to say that that's probably my favorite thus far, and that was made out of the bristle or bristol. Um, there still is a lot of dye, because I just poured all the green dye in there, because I, you know, uh, whatnot. And I didn't want, I wanted to rinse all that out, so I just poured all the green dye in here. So this is just all those colors that we use, whatever was left of each of those dyes, all mixed in. I have not added any other dye in here. But what I did do, because I hate to dump this down the drain, um, uh, yeah, so I did wet without citric acid two more hanks of the asp asparitus, asparitus, okay? And I, that's why I put ties on them because the asparitus have ties so I could, you know, be able to tell the difference because they are similar weights. And the first two, eh, you know, I'm not super like super crazy happy but we'll see after they dry you know how they are so here's two I'm holding them by their um, straps and I'm gonna slowly dip and these I said I, I dampen those so I'm gonna do a slow dip in here this is kind of what I'm doing really is what I usually do in the pan I, I do this I used to do this when I was doing dreadlocks um, and also dyeing wool um, just to get the different colors. So I'm, I'm really just going to let this soak and then work my way up into the pan. And I'm hoping, again, because we don't know what we're doing, right? This is fun, right? I hope you're watching. This is really fun. Um, I'm hoping that we'll get, a, of course, a darker color on that bottom and then it will gradient is that the word you guys use i don't know these words i gotta learn my words i'm i suck at words as it is all right so now let's go up to the next little level and then i'm just gonna let it sit for a hot sec i just want to soak up the dye i hate to waste the dye it's so expensive remind me i do need more dye um i've been using the uh jacquard but i think i might like to get the um try the Darm dharma i think is that's what thrist uses and then uh, I also need, I'm just telling you to write this on your list so I can remember, I need more citric acid because I'm almost out of that, and I need white vinegar. And I also need tie dye um, stuff because Jeannie V is highly allergic to wool, and she feels left out because I'm making these, these dyes. So I do have cotton yarns, but you need tie dye yarn, tie dye dye for that, tie dye dye. So I do need to write that down on my thing. So if any of you are listening, like Marie probably has it covered, um, just write down the things that I'm mentioning right now so I could put them down and grab them on the Amazoni. All right, so let's go a little deeper into the pot. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we'll, you know, like I said, I'll try, we'll try, I'll try almost anything once. 
Notice I said almost. This might just all come out the same damn color, but sorry for the swearing. I'm a grown-up. I'm 63. I swear once in a while. I almost might not go all the way to the top and have it have some of the regular color or bare color. I don't know. We'll see. Again, like I said, this is just having fun. And of course, it looks a lot darker here. Uh, it will be much more faded. The last the last two hanks that I did, threw in here, they look very tie-dyed. They're very, like, um, muted. And that happens. I mean, I love, I love all colors, but I do like tie-dye, and I do like brilliant, bright colors. I like all colors, literally. I used to not like orange, but then the man bought a... Uh, a little car, of course he has cars, I don't. Um, I just feel a little bitter there, huh? A little bit of snarkiness in my voice on that one. Yeah, um, he has an orange, orange vehicle, so it really is a cute little vehicle, so I kinda sorta started liking orange. I liked orange for the purpose of Halloween-ish, but then Halloween I usually think green and purple, which hence is uh, our company colors. All right, so where are we? Let me try to match these kind of up. I don't see it going in the, in the middle there. I'm trying to suck it up. Yeah, so this is a lot of fun. You know, I mean, if you're not allergic to wool, or even if you, you know, you could, use, you could do this with cotton, but there's so many things to, different ways to do this. That it really, you know, you could really play around with it. All right, so here we go now. Um, this one needs to be dipped a little more in. And I'm debating whether I leave that little bit of white. What do you think? Why can't you answer me? All right, so let me play with this for a little while. I'm going to put you back on pause. Like I said, I rinsed out the other... Hanks, they're they're all washed and laying out there, and then I will put them on the uh, porch outside. And at that point, I will bring you back. I'll finish this, and then I'll put this back on uh, after I get them outside and in the sun drying. Okay. So I want to thank you guys again for for really hanging in there and watching this. I, I truly appreciate all of you, all of your all of the time that you take out of your precious moments uh, to spend here with me and with Rusty is, is truly, truly, sincerely appreciated. But I will, at the end here, I'm gonna show you this stuff hanging outside. Alrighty, bye-bye for this moment, and I'll be back in a hot sec for you. Alrighty, my lovelies. I'm just realizing that probably the way the phone, <laughs> that I'm filming this might be opposite of what, um, the opposite direction of what I had before, but these these ones here are the first ones that we dyed. Um, I'm gonna venture to guess this is the aspirine. Yes, this is the uh, whatever it is. I'm, I'm gonna call it asper cream because I don't remember how to pronounce it. So we're just gonna go with asper cream for now. But yeah, they're wet. Um, and they look pretty good, and I don't know, hope you could see the shimmer and um, g like almost glitter from the fibers, which I don't think you're really getting the full effect that I see. Now the second, now those are the first. That's the first two that we worked with, and these are the second two that we worked with. Okay, and it came out all right. Um, the only this is the 100% baby alpaca. And there's Duncan behind there. Um, the only thing that I'm not really super happy about is that the purples are, nah, they're really not that bad. It's, but I just felt that this purple was a little darker on this skein than that skein. But I, I think that th that pretty much they they look okay. So that's the first four. Uh, Hanks that we worked with and then we still had dye right so I moved over and I did these two Hanks these 
are uh, the Bristol, Bristol, whatever, pronounce that. And they came out kind of tie-dyed, but what's super cool about these is, can you see? It's like tweed. I hope you could see that. That whatever the twist is in here, the part of it dyed a little different shade. So it's definitely kind of has a tweed effect. And these really, I think they came out really cool. They're um, pretty much looking kind of tie-dye, you know? So I'm, I'm happy about that. And then the last two that I did that I was dipping the end and then just slowly putting it in, I just brought those out. I have to say these are probably my favorite, right? So it kept getting better as we went. Look at those. I hope you can get see the, the 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 way the gradients went with it look at just the tops of them are just a super beautiful mint and then the bottoms are a darker green and of course again these are wet so uh they're you know once they dry and i bang them around a little bit and uh fluff them up and roll them into hanks they'll be gorgeous anyway if you have stayed to this point uh, I have, I, I'm just like th winging this out. If you are still here and looking at these, and I thank you so much. Um, I can't guarantee that I'm going to give you a, a set of these because I really do need to use them for the um, the auction, which is May 20th, 8 p.m. Eastern, if you don't remember. Uh, and I do need to, I, I offered a couple to uh, Melissa Crochets with love for her, her auction for the autism, for her school, for her daughter, and that's going to be May 30th. Just giving you the heads up, I will drop her link below. Please go and support that wonderful cause as well. But put the word green. That's too obvious, right? Eh, put the word green in a comment, okay? So this is going to be a hidden giveaway other than just randomly picking old videos, all right? So this is going to be a giveaway right now. Put the word green and just hide it in there, you know, um, and I will pick a winner. Uh, you might, you may get handmade yarn, dyed yarn from me. I don't know. We'll see. Probably. I have a few hanks and I'll be doing more, so yeah. Um, I'll try to die, either give you one of these or whatever. We'll work on it. Whoever wins, we will deal with this. So anyway, I'm going to give, of course, all the guidelines of YouTube do apply 18 and older. Um, the physical prize will go to the four, lower 48s. If you're outside of that area, I'll do a monetary, uh, gift. And, you know, you have to re, you know, understand and agree to all the YouTube stuff because they really are not affiliated with anything that we do on this channel. So, our giveaways on this channel. So, anyway, that's it. I love you guys. Have a Yarnalicious day and look at that loveliness, right? We did good and I really appreciate it. If you hung out this long, you, yeah, you're going to get some, you get, you get some hand dyed yarn, right? That's the least I could do for your time. Alrighty. Love you and talk to you soon. Have a Yarnalicious day. Bye-bye for now.